Hi everybody, my name is Dan Cunliffe, Managing Director of Pangea and welcome to our June video log. Um, as you can see, we're, we're outside, uh, the weather has been fantastic this week, so I figured why not get outside and um, to shoot the video log. A um, couple of interesting things that's been happening this month, um, particularly the FIFA World Cup, for those of you who've been watching. Um, for myself as a South African supporter, we tend to only get to the World Cup when we host it. Um, so that's not been that great. Uh, but for the other African countries, Tunisia, Senegal, Nigeria, um, I'm sure I'm missing another one, um, looking pretty good, uh, except for Tunisia, obviously, in the England group. But uh, Senegal, Nigeria, doing the best they can to hold the continent together. Um, just on the World Cup, I was uh, doing a bit of research on what IoT, or at least um, trends in technology for the World Cup. And we've obviously got the first time with um, the VAR. Some say it might be good, some say it's causing problems. I think. Personally, um, it's good to catch the guys who are who are literally uh, a bit like in the kind of England Panama game, um, trying to trying to rugby tackle football players to to stop them scoring goals, and that starts to get picked up. But I think some of the future stuff will be quite interesting. Goal line technology is there at the moment, um, but uh, some interesting stuff about how we improve um, the performance of the football players through tracking everything about how they move, where they go, where they spend the most time. But on the other hand, also sort of analysing for the competition being able to um, really get a true understanding in terms of monitoring of the players um, could kind of pose some interesting things for uh, coaches and also with the competing coaches as well. Um, sort of away from the football and back to kind of traditional IoT, um, some things we'll be posting in the YouTube link is uh, where some of the growth stats will be coming up to 2020. Um, there's uh, Forbes published sort of the top 10 things you want to know about and we'll put that into uh, this video log. Um, what I found was interesting was we spoke about um, launching a product called Fitbit for buildings. Um, it's something we've most of um, our partners relatively know about now, and we're starting to kind of bring this forward, which is how do we monitor, understand, uh, and create a smart building. So within the partner channel, everybody uh, generally has a building um, out of your customers that you uh, work with. So it sounds like it could be an interesting product to kind of take to the entire base. Um, but the growth in that particular market being smart buildings is looking to be 33% um, over the next three years. And it's um, gone from a very kind of flat, not real growth area to absolutely kind of skyrocketing. And I think um, as the uh, changes in OPEC and the oil price and the energy price start to make a difference, um, you really want to be able to offer people a way to manage uh, what is happening in their building around uh, energy dissipation, lights being on, um, where people are as well. So. Um, big, big play there. Talk to us about Fitbit for buildings, it should be quite interesting. Um, another market that I'm um, kind of getting into uh, this month is um, healthcare. I was kindly asked to join uh, our friends at Comms Business to sit on a panel for IoT healthcare. Um, there may be a snippet of that in this, um, in this video log for you to have a look at. Uh, but the idea is that um, healthcare, in my view, is absolutely ripe for IoT. The challenges we have is that there's quite a lot of legislation or quite a lot of diff difficult things to get through, but the benefits are clear. I think um, there's projects that we're working on where um, traditionally people would need a healthcare support person to be there, and with the changes in minimum wages, you just can't s sustain that anymore without having to look at a smarter option. Um, so uh, there are uh, definitely ways in which we can make um, people's environment where they live uh, a better through smarter technology, through ways in which we can support them so that there's, um, I guess, a way between when someone either uh, injures themselves or something happens and at their home we can get help them quicker. Um, another interesting project that we've been working on in the sort of same healthcare space is uh, soon to be announced if, if all goes right, but we're working on a 5G project with one of our local universities all around how do we improve the way we can um, send information back to hospitals, so smart triage, uh, smarter ambulances, um, things like that. So I, I won't give too much away, but it is it is a super interesting part of what's going on at the moment, and I think that healthcare does have a place to play um, in the IoT. Um, finally, I think uh, a couple of small updates from us that will uh, start to go through into the partner channel. Um, we're very excited about launching uh, new services in the US, um, United States, Canada, Mexico. It's going to be a very interesting market for us. Um, and I would encourage any of you who do have clients out there, uh, particularly data clients from very small uh, data to very large, to please get in touch with us. We've got some really interesting things there. Um, 
even delivered on US IP addresses, so a little bit techy there. But if you if you find that that could be interesting for you, get in touch with your account manager. That's things that are coming out very very soon for us. Um, I'd also like to just thank um, the guys in my team for a lot of effort in the first half of this year. This is the kind of month number six out of twelve. Um, they've worked really really hard. I'd like to say thanks to our partners as well for halfway through the year we're. We're on target to do some exceptional things and um, just really say thank you and hopefully we can continue to do that. Uh, and for those of you who are just sort of dipping your toe into what IoT might be for your business, we've had, I personally had a few conversations in the last couple of weeks with new channel partners um, who have said that the requests they're getting for whether it's just IoT SIM cards or actually IoT um, ecosystem opportunities where we look at the device, we look at the analytics, um, they've come to us, they want to work with us and I think there's some real good opportunity there. So. Um, so hopefully that sort of continues and we can all uh, enjoy the next half of the year. Uh, that's all for me for this month. Um, hopefully we'll see you next month again when you join to listen to us. My name is Dan Cunliffe. Thanks so much.